Hello and welcome to the day two of our uh, tutorial about flounces. So now you have already learned the difference be between ruffles and flounces as we have shown you on our previous video and on today's video we will actually work and play a little bit more with the flounces. So we will do double layer flounces with different heights so that you can see uh, the effect that you can get with uh, different heights of the flounces. We will do a special finish with a cover stitch that it was something that I really wanted to try and to show you how it, uh, it turns out. So we are also going to do that. And we are also going to show you if you do, for instance, th three layers of flounces, um, what, how you can do it, uh, the effect that you will have. Well, stay with us and see uh, the news for today. So let's imagine that this is a strap from a swimsuit. And of course, it had to be already <laughs> prepared on this side, but I'm only going to show you um, the side where we are, we are going to attach the two layers of uh, flounce that I've just cut it. So imagine that we had this with our elastic already applied and we want to add our flounce. So the first thing we uh, can do to make it easier for us is uh, to go to your straight stitch machine and do a very uh, uh, short, uh, near the edge uh, stitch just to secure the two fabrics together. This is just uh, for you to be able to then pin the flounce on the strap. So I'm going to go do this very quickly and come back to show you uh, the next step. So as you can see, I've just uh, made a stitch here just to combine the two fabrics together. And now what we would do is imagine that this was our neckline. We just aligned the flounces that are sewn together, as I told you. We align them here. From the, from the top of the strap until the end of the strap or until we have our flounce. Of course, this was cut roughly, so maybe the height is not okay, but for the purpose of the video about flounces, I think this is very nice. You can also watch a video that we have um, for uh, our kids' uh, swimsuit called uh, Mary. And if you see Mary, uh, we show you how we applied the, um, the flounce on that one. So that's also interesting if you want to see more about flounces. So as you can see, I'm tilting the, f the, the flounces while I go along and I'm pinning the flounce uh, to my strap. And at this moment, we have the two of them together. So now we need to do another stitch here to combine the two flounces with the main uh, strap and once that is done we will be able to finish our uh, swimsuit. So let's go ahead and just combine the flounce with the strap. So you can already see the results of uh, the strap with this combine. If this was on the waist area you can already see the effect of the flounce. But actually this is a strap, so the effect will be vertical and not horizontally. And you have many ways to combine your flounces with your straps. I'm just showing you one, but you have many options. And I'm doing this on a non-reversible, but it could also be applied on a reversible, like the Marla top. So you have, or the Storm. So you have uh, many options to uh, attach the flounce to your strap. I'm just showing you one. And now to finish this as an unreversible, you just fold your fabric, open your uh, flounce to that, that side over there, like so, and you do your cover stitch here. And once you do this, of course, the elastic is towards the lining, like so. And we just do the cover stitch here. And when, when we do this, our flounce then will be finished and attached to our swimsuit and I think it will be very beautiful. So I'm just going to do a, a zigzag simple just to, to secure this in place and then I'm going to simulate this um, on my doll so that we can more or less see the effects of the two layers of flounces. I've done my cover stitch, in this case I've done a zigzag stitch 
and now I'm just going to pin this uh, simulated strap to one of my existing swimsuits so that we can see how the flounces and the double layer flounces will go on a vertical seam. So now I have secured my flounce to this swimsuit. Of course, ignore that it's not a matching fabric. But for the purpose that I wanted to show you is that if this was a vertical uh, uh, flounce applied here on the neckline, this is an example how a double layer flounce would work. The difference between the first one and the second one is one centimeter. So I think it's uh, turned out pretty great. Uh, this would be of course our neckline and of course here you could do a curve or not or if you had a similar uh, symmetric um, uh, flounce on the other side uh, we could have connected uh, this center seam with the other flounce and we could do this directly and you had a flounce here. So I hope uh, you like the result, I really do. I even prefer two layers than only one. Uh, and now I'm going to show you if we apply this on uh, an horizontal seam, how it would look. So if we place the flounce on an horizontal seam, you can see that the flare is completely different. Uh, but it would also work very nice if you had a center uh, seam on the waist area, like Vesper for instance, if you want to add a flounce. So this would be the effect on uh, the horizontal uh, seam on the waist. In this example, I added another layer of a flounce and I uh, rounded the edge just so that you can see the difference. But this is just an example of how pretty it can be if you add layers and the volume that it gives to certain areas of your uh, swimsuit. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and show you a very, very, very different experiment. So I have cut it, uh, the two flounces with exactly the same side, size. I've placed right sides facing together and I've done an overlock stitch all around the edge. Now I'm going to reverse uh, the flounce to the right sides. Now comes the, my experiment. So I'm going to do a cover stitch uh, all around here. This will uh, have more stiffness because of the stitches but we will give uh, this flounce a completely different look. So this is the stiffness that I was talking about when we do the cover stitch with uh, the threads, contrasting threads. This was more an experiment than anything else because if uh, I was able to do the parallel lines really parallel I really think this would be uh, nice probably with the with the um, flounces uh, higher than my eight centimeters I think I would actually like the stiffness in some areas but in this case I don't think it's pretty nice because I wasn't able to do the lines uh, correctly parallel as you can see here uh, which is a shame but it's very hard but I and on the other side you have I first started with white and then I changed my thread to yellow and I actually uh, don't dislike the the reverse so I think this would be okay for me if I was able to do this like with a lot of patience and with parallel lines I I think this would be a nice option, uh, more, I don't know, I really like it, despite this is not parallel, I think it would be interesting, like an option, now you know what happens if you do double layer and uh, use so a top stitch, even double layer without the top stitch is also a good option, or only one on the edge, okay, that would be also a good option and it would not be stiff. So now he, we have uh, finished our second video and you now already know how to, uh, the result that you get if you have two layers of flounces, three layers of flounces, if you make irregular flounce and also if you want to add a cover stitch with a stiffer look on your um, 
flounce. Uh, and I think this is it for today. So now we will talk about our next video, our last one from the three series regarding flounces. And on the third video, we will explore uh, spiral flounces. So we will uh, let you know exactly how to draw the spiral and the advantages of using the spiral pattern instead of the circular or half circle. So don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and see the next video. Bye!